away from home. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with the other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. So there he goes, he's running home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard, by the way, but has anyone seen Harry? They don't know it's him. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped, he flop-flipped, and he rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate and suddenly he stopped. He ran to the corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He found the scrubbing brush and carried it in his mouth. He ran into the house. Up the stairs, he dashed with the family, following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrub brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggie wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him a bath? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry. It really was Harry. They cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him, and he became once again the white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly he didn't even feel the scrub brush. He'd hidden under his pillow. So look, there's the little brush sticking out, and there's Harry. Okay. So I didn't see any little green creatures in this book about Harry, but what time do you think it is? Right, frog song. So how do we be good frogs? Jump, blink your eyes, and bloop, 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 bloop with your tongue. Ready? Here we go. Jump, jump, went the little green frogs one day. Jump, jump went the little green frogs jump jump went the little green frogs one day and their eyes went blink 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 jump jump went the little green frogs one day jump jump went the little green frogs jump jump went the little green frogs one day and their tongues went blue 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 all right good job Okay, we're going to do a little song. I want you to sing along with me. When my hands are clean, I know it because I clap. So everybody clap your hands. When my hair is clean, it squeaks. Squeak, squeak, squeak. So everybody rub your hair. When my mouth is clean, I know it and I'm not afraid to show it. When my mouth is clean, I know it because I smile. Everybody smile. Big smile. When my feet are clean, I know it, cause I stomp. So everybody stomp your feet. When my ears are clean, I know it, cause I hear. So everybody clap at your ears. Can you hear? When my teeth are clean, I know it, and I'm not afraid to show it. When my teeth are clean, I know it, cause I chomp. Everybody chomp. K. 
Good job. All right. So we have one last story. The pigeon needs a bath. Boy, everybody's dirty today. Did you take a bath today? Let's see. The pigeon needs a bath. That's a matter of opinion, he says. What a kidder. I don't really need a bath. I took one last month. I think it was last month. Clean, dirty, they're just words, right? I feel clean. Maybe you need a bath. Yeah, when was the last time you had a bath? Oh, last night. Okay, pretty recent. Life is so short. Why waste it on unimportant things like taking a bath? Smell? What smell? I don't smell anything. And if I do, it's a very normal smell for a pigeon. You know, in some places, it's, it's impolite to bathe. Bzz, look at all the flies and bugs around them. All of these flies buzzing around me are purely coincidental. Look at the flies. Let's get out of here. Take a bath, dude. Okay, fine. If it means so much to you, I'll take a bath. Whoa, I'm not going to like this one bit. So there he filled the water in the tub. It's too hot. The water's too cold. It's too deep. It's not deep enough. It's too wet. What? Too wet. Too hot again. There's too many toys. He's making all kind of excuses. Well, I guess it's okay. Splash. So he finally gets in the water. Hey, this is fun. Wash, 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 wash. La, la, sing a song. This is life. I love the bubbles. I'm a fish. Look at my wrinkly toes and fingers. Then, hours later, can I stay in the tub forever? Oh, no. So he really does like his bath, doesn't he? He doesn't want to get out. The end. So that was really a silly story, wasn't it? So what time do you think it is? Right, let's shake our silly. So everybody stand up. Here we go. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. I wiggle my waggles away. We gotta clap. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap. My crazies out and wiggle my waggles away. Jump, I'm gonna jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. conclude week three. I hope you'll join me back here next week for week four. Bye-bye, everybody.